Good morning, it's Thursday, December 13th. Very uh, busy day for me yesterday. Son took my son to Denver for a doctor's appointment he had up there with someone. And um, new and a new comic book day at Mile High Comics in my local comic book shop on way back down. So, and I'm running late, so I don't have much time. So without further ado, here are my new comics. From, uh, December 5th, right? Yeah, December 5th, my local comic book shop, Harley Quinn, number 55, really like this Christmas cover. Not into Harley Quinn, but I just really like this Christmas theme cover, you know, with her sitting on Santa's lap, you know, with a bat, with the nails in it. All right, Santa, here's my list, it's gonna be a long one. Really like it. Especially how I like her uh, Christmas ornament necklace thing. I like the whole family thing. <clears throat> From eBay, um, I bought on eBay for Venom Lethal Protector number one. Had to get this one. I you know it's been on my list since I've seen it, and I kept on seeing it, so really had to buy it. Really proud of it. Love the cover. Love, love, love the cover. Silver Surfer number thirty-three meets the Impossible Man. I saw this guy in one of the other uh, Silver Surfer comics, number 38 maybe, possibly. But I thought a dollar. It was cheap. So I got it. Then that's number 18. Liked it. Nice, like them fighting each other like that. Um, Justice League, number 13. Variant cover. I wasn't planning on buying this one and all, this this issue, but um, opening up, you know, seeing um, you know, a sneak preview of the Batman who laughs or smiles, should I say, and then um, Lex Luthor in chains. Spoiler alert! I just piqued my interest. Bought it. Definitely liked. Definitely liked it. Um, Thor number three thirty four. Simple two dollar kind of thing, old back issue, but I liked it, so I bought it. Um, a uh, Infinity Warps number one, the Iron Hammer. You know, I liked this. I mean, what? So maybe interesting. This one was the uh, old Iron Man with Thor's hammer power thing. So I just had to get it. All right. From yesterday's new comic books, a um, jungle, fa jungle Fantasy Secrets number four. Like, you know, only read one issue. Liked it. Yeah, I know it's not an actual. I know the storyline is the storyline, and I won't go beyond it in case people are. Um, Likely correct, sensitive, the term, whatever term you want to use. But if you're into that kind of thing, it's really good. Um, Batman Beyond, number 25. My favorite Batman. I like Bruce Wayne, I like Batman, but something about Terry McGinnis and the all black back, back suit, red symbol. Batman, is my, Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis is my favorite Batman. <clears throat> I found this one, this issue, the last time I was, uh, I found the first issue the last time I was in my high comics in one of the dollar boxes, and, um, I really liked it, so I went up there and I looked for it more this time around, and I got most of it. It's a 12-ish, 12-part saga. The Kents. This is volume 9, or issue 9. It's like the history of, uh, yeah, the, the Kins obviously beginning in 1855, 15. I don't know, um, Bloody Kansas, whenever Bl uh, Bloody Kansas was in the 1850s. And so, you know, family moves west with the events of Bloody Kansas and family history from there. Um, the Kins, issue 8. I find it interesting the old. 
old the Superman logo, like it's really the um, the Kent family crest kind of a thing instead of. Sorry, I have my uh, iMac on and it mirrors my text messages. So ding, I got a message. Um, issue seven. So yeah, I got. I already had one and I bought issues two through nine. You know, for two bucks at most each. And that was before the 60% off sale there at Mile High Comics. Kent's issue six. I like this one. With the uh, regiment, battle flag, whatever, the 5th Smallville Volunteers. I'm interested because this one's, because uh, it's brother, there's, might be a 12 hour series, but there's titles are runs in each and runs in it too like one's brother versus brother so i wonder which one which of well, the two brothers goes north and which one goes south you know to the stars and by hard ways interesting storylines um kent's issue five personally i hope the guy that they model after clark kent is the one that goes north and the one that uh is blonde goes south which is I'll show you the, I'll show you him on the cover here issue four that's his brother but yeah really like you know it's really cool like the Superman crest on the logo itself and uh, even though it wouldn't really show up until Clark you know Kal-El comes there Kent's issue three and the last Kent's I have Kent's issue two that I bought yesterday. Yeah, Bleeding Kansas. That's when it started. Alright. Also picked up Superman, Man of Tomorrow, number 10. Obsession, Maxima, and two guys named Superman. The red and the blue. Electric. I bought this one because of her obsession. I have the issue where she's dressed up and is Mrs. Superman. Apparently Superman has a, a diehard number one fan who doesn't know the meaning of personal space. Um, I'm not really into de detective comics. I bought a, bought a few and I'll buy the f a few issues of the uh, detective comics a thousand when it comes out. But uh, I couldn't pass up this one. I really liked the cover. It just it spoke so powerfully to me. Detective Comics nine ninety four, cover B. One guess as to why I picked this cover. I like the his parents murder scene and Batman you know Batman's Bruce's future reflected you know in the blood. You know, it's kind of just his uh, trigger starting point or whatever to his future. Out of all the comics I got, I have to say, like, this is my favorite, you know, cover of the week. In my opinion, cover of the week. You know, just love. Sorry, early in the mor early morning. I have to try and get this done before I go to work. You know, busy day, got, you know, all day got, going up to Denver, coming back. And, uh, Going to sleep. I had to schedule two days off of work, but since I was able to get back in time for a late night last night, I can still go to work tomorrow. And uh, work tomorrow today. Told you I'm tired. So rather than take two days off of work, take one. So you know, son needed me up there, so I was there doing what I can to be a good dad. All right, been looking forward to this one for a long time. Batman who laughs. Issue one. I'm either gonna CGC this one. I really like the cover. I really hope it really explains the origin story of him in there. I've known some of what it is, but I really want to know. Sorry about that glare. I really want to know about it more. So just need to decide, you know. Let me let me know what you guys think too. Should we do issue one? Or issue one cover one or Issue one, cover two. I almost think cover two, but 
which one's going to be more valuable. One I'll read, and the other one I will um, CGC without touching. Um, the only thing I could tell is I'm leaning towards... Ooh, I was leaning towards cover two here, but I'm not sure with the spine with that. It won't be a 9.8, I'm pretty sure. But I have a better chance of getting a 9.8 if it's this one. You know, just because of the all black. I've heard terrible things about the all black cover and the all white cover, just things like that. Just so easy to transport flaws. Um, Avengers number 11. Found out in Avengers 10 that they're going on a date. For some reason, that just fits so well. Because I can't help but think about the uh, scene in the original Avengers when Loki gets smashed around by Thor and also Thor and um, Ragnarok, you know, and you know, being thrashed around by the Hulk himself. No, Loki by the Hulk. And then Thor by the Hulk and Loki and Loki. Thor 3. So, give me a good date or I'll smash you around. <laughs> that was just... I remember the movie theater just busting out. That part was so funny. Superman number six. Supposedly John Kent returns from space in this one. Although, judging by this, he doesn't look very uh, friendly coming back. Although in this one, we'll definitely we'll have the uh, fight. Of uh, Superman, Zorel, not Zorel, Zod, um, against uh, that. Uh, God, it's getting a while before I remember his name. That uh, just that monster thing that destroyed Krypton supposedly instead of the planet exploded. Boom! On its own. All right. And uh, while I was up there in Mile High, I found the other four issues I need to complete this small series. Um, the six-part miniseries, The Man of Steel, number two. I had the original, I bought on eBay the uh, complete run of the more modern Man of Steel. You know, um, but I didn't buy this one, so... So I finished up there, again, issues that are not bad, so I finished it. Man of Steel, issue 3. Only problem with this one is a color-breaking crease. In the bottom corner here. Not CGC, it's a personal comic, so... It's just going to be part of my collection, it just won't be pristine condition. Not every comic will be. Mass Still issue 5. My least favorite cover, I think. I just don't like the, uh... Bizarro. Superman. Never liked him. Never liked Bizarro. At all. Period. Just seemed too dumb to be a villain. Or a misunderstood cre creature. Body. Whatever. And then finally, Man of Steel, number six. Alright, last but not least. And almost out of time here before I really need to go. Um, Batman Damned. Book two, DC Black Label. Been waiting for months for this one. Ever since book one and Black Man's genitals were all over there. Although I was right in assuming, because I did got a couple of high going, oh, can't wait for this one to come out. I'm going to buy two or three. I'm going to sell it again. I'm going to sell the variant covers. I'll sell both variant covers and uh, make a lot of money. But then I thought, in a little bit, um, two months past, and I'm like, I look into it, I'm like, hmm, you know, prices are not what they're going to be. It was issue one because it was, it was more because issue one. And to the surprise, Batman, Bat Tool, <laughs> for lack of a better uh, word. And this isn't in the book, this is the bag. 
that little crease. So, sorry I got cut off there. I don't know why my recorder stopped doing that. Anyway, Batman Damned, sexual assault by a Harley Quinn, I believe, on Batman. That's what I heard. Anyway, before I cut out, cuts out again, well, that's all you have, have for tonight, or today. It's a day. It's comics. I'm tired. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know what you think about uh, the Batman Who Laughs, which one I should CGC, if I should CGC, CGC, you know. If I do CGC one, which one would you vote for? I do it. You know, which one do you think would be smarter to do it? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and have a good day. Bye.